Welcome to Roscoe Gaming. We are about to unbox a Secret Labs share. Thanks for tuning in. We're live on Twitch, being recorded. For Good day, I'm Roscoe. I'm your broadcaster. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to uh, switch over here to a different cam. There we go. Today, we're going to uh, have an unboxing. This is the old chair. Got from a thrift store. It's a little wobbly, like I explained. Hard bar in here. Flimsy as hell. There's no wood. And it's a backbreaker. The bar across here has dug in my uh, back for many, many months now. As Drass Gaming and I talked about the seat, it's on a piece of pl plywood and it's barely a uh, half inch thick foam. Wheels are very rough. And we're going to put that right there. There she is. Secret Labs. Titan Stealth. Okay, I got a Gerber. Backpacking knife. They come with uh, their $50 at a, online or whatnot. Fits on your belt buckle. It's a nice letter opener. Comes with a screwdriver and a star stripe and a uh, bottle opener slash uh what do you call it clip to go in your backpack if you're out backpacking walking around or an eft tool just for a standard cutting the rope if you're hanging real rock climbing that's basically what it is for rock climbing it's very small you don't want to use it for self-defense or anything in any country you'll level to slip forward and cut your finger and the ofa you can use one of these but make sure you always just have very few millimeters out because they're very sharp and they're lethal. Actually, we'll just start that. Hey, it hasn't been open yet. And we'll go like this. I know I don't have to clean off the uh, tape. And that's right. I got my merch on today just so you can see it as well. Hey. No big deal. Just a chair. It's the 2020 version. Three to five year warranty and whatnot. Put the Gerber back. Like I said, my setup. You guys seen it before. NZXT case. Cooler Master power supply. All specs down below. Sapphire RX 580 video card. Eight gigs. I need a water cool for it. When the fans turn up, it hums and it's a little too loud as well slowly over the last year since uh, a gamer buddy sent me some parts I uh, got the water cooler 16 more gigs of memory and uh, put a uh, fan control in. I got the silly little puck you got to be careful when you got your headphones on there sometimes they fall off you got to make sure they're secure really well and got the cam link up here Hooked up to the fancy dancy BS of a should be the M3, but they made the M200 here. They should have the M3 with the flash up there, but who wants to spend another $500 for the same thing? Oh well, the flash pops up. I can't put a flash on there, and I don't have a mic. I have to have a extended to go vlogging and whatnot. Oh well, that's the way it works. Hopefully they come up with a USB connector on the side where you can put a, a uh, mic on with the USB and have a small rig hooked up to it and stuff like that as well. We'll see what happens. Very easy to install. Go to Elgato. They show you how to install it. Easy as pie. Okay. Oh, let's turn on the lights. The newer tabletop. Give a little light here. They're uh, $52. Most stuff bought on Amazon and new. Go back to here. Okay, it's flipping up. And there we go. Brand new Titan box. And yes, and as you open it, guess what it says? Your unboxing experience starts here. And that's right. It's pouring all that kind of stuff. Arrived three hours ago and whatnot. Okay, okay. Comes the first thing is what? 
Congratulations, you are now the owner of a brand new Secret Labs chair. You're just steps away from your own ultimate seating experience. Flip the sheet over and you will find a quick start guide to assemble your Secret Labs chair. We highly recommend checking out our assembly video as well as details rule instructions. Sounds good. It says handle inspector certificate or little things and oh my goodness look at this got a step by step how to do hey eh? so we'll uh, take the star out put the wheels on put the shock mount on assemble or take out the nuts on the side assemble the top part slide it in like a what do you call it a lazy boy comes apart put the screws or bolts back in Put the covers over the bolts and uh, do not remove thing strap on the side and uh, tighten this and uh, put the armrests on and then we'll place it on the bottom part on the uh, bottom chair and then we'll slide it all together. All right, step by step, 12 steps. Man. We'll see how it goes. And then it tells you how to use the armrests and stuff like that. So Captain KY was uh, explaining his. And uh, I guess he didn't read the instructions. Oh, well. Oh, he's having a great day, that gentleman. Get his videos done. We're going to switch here in a second here. It says, welcome to your home to comfort as well. Gives you a little guide on uh, how to uh, look and manage your chairs. A little bit more foam in here on the top to protect it. The first part of uh, the Secret Labs. So we're going to change the views a bit and uh, switch over to M200. Off on. There we go. We'll put this back on the cradle or on the desk in case we need. Hey, you got a view of me. You got to check out my ass if you're whatnot. Oh, hey, that's right. Never turn your back to a camera. Isn't that the way it works? What do we got in here? Oh, my goodness. How does this come out of here? Oh. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Wow. 70, 70 uh, kilos. This box is very heavy. Very heavy. Luckily, the building I live in has a... Just cut along this strip seam. It doesn't say tear. It doesn't have a quick tear, as you see. So, we'll put it, pop out the Gerber. Can't remember. We'll see how long it takes, eh? And it is recording. Yes, it is. Remember, everything's a household necessity. You have to have something comfortable to sit on to enjoy your accommodations where you might be. I can't afford a sofa as being homeless at the age of 26 for two and a half years. I don't buy much. Ooh, that's nice and soft. Stealth, eh? I'll put this over here on the my bed. I My box spring broke, so... I had to toss it out and looking for a queen size foam, but I don't want to spend a couple thousand dollars working on that. Oh, here's that star we were talking about. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I want oh, that. All aluminum base instead of plastic. That's got to be a first. Scrapyard. <laughs> well, maybe a dollar. <laughs> oh, dollar. Fifty a pound. Okay, sorry, I don't have any music. Like I said, Spotify, copyright. So, that. Over a chat once in a while. 
Got a Rubbermaid container here. Small accommodations. If you're a single growing up and just moving out of home, Rubbermaid containers make good end tables and whatnot and storage units for your apartments if you don't have the money to go there and buy stuff. At the age of 26, I still only had two Rubbermaid containers to my name and had to uh, toss out a couple thousand dollars worth of furniture as time went on from moving around the country and can't afford to uh, move places. So spend a thousand dollars on a futon for a sofa. Bullshit. You have to uh, have a truck to move stuff and it's, it's expensive. So. Oh, these are all the wheels. Hey, that was the first thing on the, the guide. Top part. Like I said, you gotta have the guide. And the first part says, take this out, get the wheels, put them on, and the shock. Trying to mess around with my stream deck and new scene page just for chatting. It just didn't work out properly. Watching Catzilla and Magpies wasn't on, she just came on. And Spock Nation playing the new Valhalla. Assassin Creed. Sunny early. Support Spock Nation, he's helped me out. Ooh, look at that. And it roll way better than the old one. Hey, what's this? Those are the covers for uh chair. So the key magnets. Magnets. What's this? Oh, tool. This comes with a secret labs toolkit. Putting all the bolts in there. Alan Key. First. That there. Shock, eh? Man. Oil filled it. Top of it. Hey. Okay. Google Dog. Whoop. That goes like that. Looks like that. Oh, so those are the fins for the controls to control your. What do you call it? What's it say? Wheels on the star. Turn the chair upright. Insert the hydraulic piston. Slide down the hydraulic piston. They show some round things. Huh. Okay. That's weird. It's like way the hell underneath. How we. Oop, that is weird. I'm looking at the height of it. You can see it. From here to here, that's the top of the piston. It sticks down. Way down there. And then I look at the this old chair, and you look at it. It's like super high. Must not be got chipped out. Oh, we. It's real low. We'll see. Have short little legs or something. 
Okay, next step three. Remove the remove the four M8 screws that are uh, pre-inserted on the brackets for, uh, back yes, chair. Okay. Like I said, rubber mate container. Come with these little foam things. We'll put this on top. There's these screws on the side here. Couldn't uh, afford the Herman Miller. They're like $1,500 of the new, what do you call it? Allen key. New cheap. That also. That's good to know. You can just turn around the star. And it looks like one side's the star, one side's the Allen key. It looks like the Allen key fits in there. Like a snowboarding. Is this hand tight anyway? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on Spotify. I'm gonna quietly listen. Over to stream beats and your electric. Every one of them, two minutes. <laughs> Well, that's a little, a little better, hopefully. That way, at least you get some type of bet. Switch that over. If you got a table or something, it's a lot better. You don't have to hunch over. On every construction site, they say bend your knee. Make sure you don't misplace it. Remember, if you can read a book, bake a cake, you can put anything together. Don't be discouraged in life. Ever. Anybody can do anything. Join the United States military. As long as they do, they can train you to be a officer of the military or member of the military. Less than six months and put you on act. Called basic training or anything at all. They teach you a man and a woman have to be able to fight side by side. Those on the bed there. Now step four. Slide onto the seat and insert the previous screws back into the only halfway. Holy smokes. Last year I got from Staples Canada. They didn't have the armrests hooked up like that. Cool. Maple table I made in high school for grade 10. 
my teacher. Doing lots of the work because he didn't want us to cut our fingers. Look at that. That's that shock thing. Okay, we'll put that. As all kids do, shop clip. Build things with it. That's the. I had so it was a pre order, and the pre order takes. Just as long as the amber. I didn't like the amber. A couple other streamers I have it. not remove strap until backrest has been securely inserted. Do not remove backrest. things on the sides. Okay. So we can slide it down. That's it. Four pins halfway. What it said. Persona, how are you doing today? Yes, hopefully she uh, takes away the back pains. I don't have a girlfriend to spoil with presents and food and affection, so. I gotta spoil myself and do something myself. That's it. So my back was getting real sore uh, with the uh, old chair and uh, my lumbar mid back, I'm a small of the back is so sore it's not funny. I've been in pain every day for months and uh, been scraping by and as a Canadian on a disability they came up with a covert one time only $600 and I uh, bought this. They say to buy f extra food for the extra rise of cost of food. Why buy a lot of food and eat? I'll be there in a second to read chat. I want to get these halfway in first. I'm going to read the next step. Hey. Right. They're tired. Almost midnight. You have a good sleep, sir. 
Much, much appreciated. We're going to do a little shout out here. We're sitting at uh, 90, 199 viewers. One more to get 200, and then we'll have the $20 Steam gift card. That back almost hurts me. <laughs> I was in a car crash years ago and uh, I harmed my back and they told me I broke my back years later after carrying a backpack while living on the street in Canada. This is the 2020 version of a Titan. Here we'll just, Ooh, where is it? As it said, halfway the screws here there's hand tighten tells you the date on the side when you get it I uh, didn't want the screws in here like most of the uh, racing seats I don't need a race car I want an office chair look red pinstriping they call that the stealth and there's the instruction guide. Right now we're on step four. We're just inserting this. Like it said, slide the backrest in right till the right the right bracket is down, and put the screws halfway in. Tighten them in, and then put the covers over it, and take the next level off. Hey, no worries. You know, anytime you drop by, I will be there. Sometimes sooner than others when I notice it. As you do as well. Oop, we got that on the roof. Oh, no. Wrong one. Okay, where's that uh, tool I just had? My head wasn't attached to my burn on my shoulders. I think I forget a lot of things in life, as they say. Funniest thing in life, as my dad said as a joke, Junior, just go look in the mirror. My birth father's name is Ross Joseph Francis Bame or Bohm. Oh, he says he's a little part of Germany. Okay, we'll just snug this. Him being adopted, we don't know his true background. It's, uh, his mom was Irish. I think they pulled his leg his whole life. Remember, never over tighten a bolt, they can snap. Right now, you're listening to stream. Free copyright. Balmy uh, 8 Celsius outside, cloudy. Light rain. Hey. Right. Okay. Insert the side pieces. Next, step six. Guess the angle pieces go upwards. I see there's a uh, on the sides when you look at it there's an angle piece just in here and there's an angle piece on the back of the plastic you gotta match it up and it has magnets so they can pop off at any time right all right stylish hey step six How was uh, Call of Duty today? Or Valorant you're playing today. Nice. You should uh, check out the uh, new Apex Legends, Chris Owner, if you're still there. It's uh, very colorful. Looks like uh, 
Valorant, I was watching a lady play, actually a few ladies play, Electra, Cadzilla, and uh, they were uh, very colorful. It's uh, similar, they have that, uh, when you throw your ball and it has that line, they got some interesting concepts that come over the both sides. You just don't get to pick your gun layout like Valorant. You gotta pick it up off the ground like Call of Duty. Holy smokes. Okay, step seven. Remove the recliner strap. Aless then, with women. We stand with women who dream using the uh, Phillips screwdriver, remove the uh, red screw located because we inside the hole on the right recliner cover. Less than incredible. Okay, sounds good. And it says to right side. I like to keep all the parts. When I move, I put everything back in the box. That way, if people don't damage it in the box, it's a lot more protected. Hey. Red screw, right side. Early Christmas present for me, birthday present. That's, uh, that's the way I look at it. Like it said to remove it all the way, right? Oh, it allows the remover to, recliner to be used, so yet take it out completely. Make sure I put it in special area. Step eight, lift the chair gently. Set it facing downwards. So you're doing the uh, spray of uh, what Allah. Or doggy style. If so. Wanna talk that term. And that they got a little thing under that quality. Alright. How many times does your dog lay with their paws straight forward like that, hey? It's a nice yoga stretch for the back too. As I used to run all the time and have to do a million different stretches. Before going for a run for a half marathon or 10k. Alright. Good. Step nine. Insert the bottom bracket using the four M8 screws and uh, that must be these four came in the kit. They got come with an Allen key. This tool, I think it's the same as size as this. You either use the Allen key to put them in or use the tool that was broken. Okay, okay. Look. Now this is the fun part. Which part goes forward? The knobby, I think, usually sits in the front. That way you can adjust yours in the back. Let's see. It shows the springs the back side in the picture. You can find all this on their page. I think Kasona, your pa your chair is very similar. They just call it something.
Most of the time, if you're tightening down a flange or anything like that, it won't go for this, even your water cooler. Make sure you cross it from corner to corner. That way uh, you get a proper tightening. If you do only do one side at a time, sometimes it uh, makes a bend in it. So one side will be seated tighter than the other. So when you're doing your water cooler, there's four, two crisscross. Don't do one side then the other, if that makes sense. Oh, you can move it side to side too. Stand up and stretch for a second. Grab a drink. That's not just. So I started the stream five minutes or a couple minutes into it. Together, so you can see how long it doesn't take that long. Here's the view out of the Comox Valley. They're just putting uh, puddings in. There's a concrete truck, it was very noisy a little while ago. Tarps covering the footings for an underground parking for a five story building that's going there. That's the Royal Bank, Comox Credit Union, Tim Hortons is to the left. Mount Washington Ski Resort is straight ahead above that yellow sign where the black truck is, if you can see it in the forklift. Up in the mountains, we had snow up there this morning, and it looks like it's hit uh, 500 feet above sea level, 600. Hopefully, the ski season will be off to a good start when uh, it hits uh, December the 4th. It's usually when uh, they try to get it open up there, a couple weeks before Christmas, so they can uh, have a good Christmas season. That's where they make all their money in condominiums and uh, people going up there. That's my small Washington Ski Resort on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. You can also check out Whistler, more expensive, Black Dome, Silver Star, Apex, Big White. Where is that tool? Oh, I left it over here. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read this one more time real quick. Still scratching. Remember to drink your water here in BC. Or Pure Life, Nestle, as Nestle makes lots of products. Bottled in Hope Burge, Columbia, where they filmed the original Rambo. Rambo? Yeah. Adrian! And we like Rocky. Did you know Sylvester Stallone started out as a porn star? All those little boys getting ready to old age. Glad to hear Sean Connery passed away. Thanks for your great films. Commentary. Eat reading. Books don't give me any enjoyment. I read the law book and Genesis. Can't see the time. Seven days. The world was formed. As the, one of the places before I die. See the Vatican. Rome. Uh, Catholic school as a kid. Uh, 
I believe in the faith. Now, I've never gone to church in my life other than a couple days of Sunday school. Usually not to my own church. Believe in kindness to another person, so you can walk down the street and know you won't be assaulted by. Okay, after that, it says uh, take the fins for the box. I think they're box. There they are. The fin control. The little paddles. Or the uh, mechanism for the chair. Well, they do. Fins forward. Eh? Line up the grooves inside the levers with the notches and insert tail clip. Then place the uh, wheel star shape and the gas piston in the bottom hole of what you just inserted. Step 11. Mechanical. Built mechanic. Then sit upright. So they click, eh? Click. Click. Right. Guess that's the way it works. Insert in the hole. Hit perfectly. And then. Turn the princess around. Gotta sit on her lap. Nice smooth. It feels like leather, but it's not that fake leather. A little rougher on the sides here. Hmm. Interesting. First sit. Here, let's read this first. That's step 12. Usage information. Right. Little knob on the side here for a lumbar support like the last one. Oh my goodness. That seat. That is firm. Oh boy. Oh, Santa Claus. What would you like for Christmas? I think I should get this girl some sexy lingerie. And that boy, well, he wants a nice high powered rifle. So he can go deer hunting. That girl being one of my girlfriend if I had one. That's just the way you look at it. Makes them happy. Box of chocolates. Usually the portable stuff, isn't it? Backrest recliner. That's this piece here on the side, on your right side. Oh, shit. All right, that's good. Time's always a jump. And then it has a button on the outside. Up, down. What's this button? Yeah, okay, that's up down. Button in the front where the thumb is. Tilts it. Interesting. What's this button? Swing. Oh, and out. So button here where the lever is. Back and forth button in the front yeah cool up and down hmm. oh that's still a little stiff better than what I had before oh good it's right underneath the desk by about half inch stick my finger width that's one bonus I can get closer to the table and adjust the knobby on the bottom turn the knobby clockwise to loosen the rocker tension of the arm anti-clockwise to tighten i gotta think clockwise okay right to left all right let's see, let's see what happens what's in the back end 
Hold on to the front. Uh, I want to loosen it a bit just to make it a little softer. It says uh, don't stand on it. Don't sit on it. Front edge, sit directly on it like I am. Don't sit one person on top of another. Don't lean back with a chair. Rest all the way back and do not push the chair around with somebody sitting on it with the, as well. If somebody's leaning back on it, don't push back on the back part of it either. And don't place your back on it and push. Interesting. Watch your fingers in the uh, moving mechanisms. Safety reason. It also says that the arms have three nuts on them, what that's pretty good because this fat in front of you, 160 pounds, it's designed for somebody 170 pounds or lower. Wide enough for me to get in. If you're a little bigger, there's three nuts and you can move the arms out that much. So interesting, eh? And uh, what's it say? This tension lumbar on the side here just does some type of ladder, small to the back. Lumbar adjustment. Height adjustment is uh, your right side, and unlocking is the uh, left side. So those fins I put in. So this oh that's up good for somebody with tall legs you like to have your legs on the bottom once a okay stand up to raise and hit the button to uh, bring it back oh, that unlocks the tilting part on the left side okay i'll leave it there yeah, be, just be careful. Oh, that's uh, tension oh, counterclockwise, right? Oh, can't see it. Uh, ooh, 45 minutes to set this up. That's not bad. You can pay somebody to do it or do it yourself. Those from Casonas. Cream thanks for dropping. That's oily. Huh. Must have touched a shock or something. So there we go. We got a... this side. Left side locks it so it doesn't tilt back on the fin. I wonder. What did I say? Tension adjustment. Anti-clockwise, the tent. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Oh. Wrong way. I'll do a product review every six months year on uh, yeah wear and tear of the materials the shock and whatnot it's a three-year warranty uh, lumbar As most chairs, if you look off this chair, that's just a, a little lower than the old one. That allows me to get right underneath my chair. 
and raise it up another inch. Oh, one more final view of a start to the game. I forgot to this caution on the side here. Don't remove screw. That's that red screw. Tilt to the back. The lumbar support. One fin. I mentioned. But what did it do? Oh, up down. To allow it to tilt back and forth. And uh, the tension on the bottom. Just like every other one. Up down. That's this one. This one where my thumb is allows it to go in and out and swivel, which kind of seems silly, but 2020 Titan here on November the 10th. Tomorrow is November the 11th. I remember and stay here in Canada for World War II event. Two, uh, what do you call it? Participants that passed away for a value of life and human rights to be uphold and never to happen again in life, but it seems to. You'll find on Ross Jason Boehm Lie or RGBL TV on YouTube. I talk about human rights violations, poverty, and malpractice. If you'd like to check it out, go check it out. Links down below. And I'll take you to the information session of five minutes. For an assault of malpractice that I've gone through and going through still. I'm trying to get my hormones back so I can be able to have my right of movements. Be able to go for a run and enjoy a day of this world. Not feel post-traumatic stress syndrome. From the government of Canada and their ignorance towards poverty or landed immigrants from 100 years ago. Which my great grandpa, Christensen, came here from uh, Poland. His family. Yeah. My grandma from Ukraine is already here, as far as I know. I'm Roscoe, I'm your broadcaster. Thank you for coming in. There he is. Great grandpa Christensen. Polish descent. Grandparents. Martin. My great great grandparent grandpa and whatnot. The bushes. He uh, was a Royal Winnipeg Rifleman, born in May 6th, 1909, in Brandon, Manitoba, where I was born as well. Died at the age of 36, six days after World War II. You married my grandma, and I don't know her last name. She's Ukrainian. Service number is there, where he was buried, and uh, whatnot. They named a lake after him in northern Saskatchewan, or not Saskatchewan, in Manitoba as well, up by we uh, got Martin Bush was my great great grandpa. He was born in 1876, died in 1945, and I never got to meet him because I was born in 1972. He was born in Aust Austrian Poland, 1876. He was married to my great great grandma, Filipina. I can't say the words because it's out of my jurisdiction. Of My grandpa discharged. No, was he? William, yeah. My grandpa is William. I can't remember. Grandpa's serving in the war still. War Memorial. There, I said Bush Lake. 54 D15, south of Mere Lake named after him. Events in World War II. Do my uh, Remembrance Day today and tomorrow. Late. 
our uh, one of our family science and clans as you click and you can see that Lennox is my other great grandpa and whatnot as well bushes uh, to him now it says the bush coat of arms is the bush family crest now they're uh, related to uh, all these other people I don't need to get into it. that's my great grandma my grandpa my great grandma my great grandma my grandpa uncle Jimmy his brother and uh, his sister is wife of Jimmy as my grandpa passed away years back just before I was uh, forced to live on the street that's him what a year or two before out at his cabin in Regina Beach Saskatchewan one hour drive from Regina the home of the air scene like to blow light bulbs out of his nose and uh, pop his false teeth out just to be a jokester with me love him to death great man and that's the family of uh, my grandpa my mother my little brother Shane and uh, my birth father Ross Bain and this is me right after my car accident in 1995 I had a little bit of a pup tummy but uh, on the deck of our lake cabin grandma friend As you see, my grandpa being goofy, putting his arm around. Kenneth George Bush, his son, my Aunt Judy. That's my uh, cousin Ryan, cousin Kelly, Uncle Kenneth, and Judy as well. Where uh, my uncle was getting an award for the union. For uh, being a uh, servant to the country for uh, training and plumbing and pipe fitting. It's a Kelsey institution and a union head. Kind of looks like my grandma. On the way to take a picture for me at Regina Beach, just lost it. Government over three, four thousand dollars of it. And my cousin Kelly, her children. Kayla can't uh, pronounce the girls aboriginal names married an aboriginal man and had two beautiful kids by him too my birth certificate without the numbers this is my mom an old friend of mine here or her best friend and she took the picture and I just felt like smiling just before I got all my gray hair from being stressed out and assaulted by the government of Canada. My beard was just growing back. That's my uh, little brother Shane again and my mom at his wedding, which uh, turned out to turmoil as well. And first time assaulted by a medication and showed up a second time. Bam. Armstrong. The Armstrong family. Of Manitoba. This is Kaylee, my brother, and my mother. Sure, it's a little out of focus. Or having Chinese food. That's my mom as a young lady as well. With her Auburn hair. And refused to uh, exist that she was an Auburn. Met her my second time. It's my one of our uh, aunt slash cousins of my mom. So my second cousin, another Bush, Newfeld. Makes you smile. Goofy lady. She happens to be uh, a lipstick lady. She's gay. My stepdad, my little brother, and my mom. When we were uh, growing up in Red Deer, Alberta, I think it was his birthday or my birthday. That's right, that's a beer in front of him. Me? Back in uh, 1995, and uh, my grandpa. 
likeness. Just gotta take out the thing. Everybody says I look like him. There's my uh, grandpa getting his uh, jersey or a uh, uniform on one of the job sites out in Saskatchewan. There's the old family in the old, in the 1920s. They all, or 1930s, they all had the suit. Everybody dressed, eh? No doubt. There's a little nostalgia down the road of uh, Heritage and Remembrance Day for me. We're going to tune into the game. This is Roscoe at Roscoe Gaming. Thanks for sticking by. We're going to head into a game. Turn off the music here. Turn off Spotify. Turned it all off and on, hey? Make it a little smaller here. Boom. Oh, yeah, I was going to turn that on. Well, maybe do that later. Play. Put the tools away. So I just play. I'll read the. Uh, Welcome to your home of comfort, on from Secret Labs. Put all my stuff away in the box later on, after I'm done my stream today. Oh yeah, one other thing it came with is a nice gel. Secret Labs, hello. I guess that goes on the top. I like I'm gonna sleep on this. Ah, that's nice and soft, though. Hey, crank down this a little bit. That way up high. Oh, game crash already. We got a dev thing, hey? Hey, tilt this a little bit. Oop, not good. What happened? Hey. Go fix the camera still. Sorry about that one. I had it up in the air. I just uh, had it jacked up about two and a half feet on the tripod. And working on getting myself a... Uh... Electric. Gotta be so careful. And the movements of it. Not funny. This is right. This is the shirt for my merch. Not bad. Nice and comfy. How's that? Notch up on my head? We'll do it. One more little notch. I wish I had a little dial on the side. Better tripod. Pick this up from the store for care less. It does the job. There stores a place that restart. We look. It unlocked for now because small of the back. Much different feel. I haven't done a scan or repair on it today. Usually it helps with the uh, crashes. Now we're gonna have another crash. Not an oak. Not funny. They're having a lot of problems with Call of Duty here for people that use PC. That's a bad thing. We'll uh, do a scan repair. Regular screen. Go to options. Scan repair. It's gonna take a little. 
we are gonna up in rust then. Well, let's scan and hopefully. Oh yeah, we have to uh, turn up the fans. Don't need that overheating. Great demand on your GPU every time you play any type of game. Suggest water cooling. At, uh, I'm using NZXT. In fact, I got NZXT box. When you get a bracket, you can get a bracket that fits on most older two-year-old uh, GPU. Forty-five, sixty dollars Canadian, depending on where you get it on sale or not, and anywhere from two hundred up. The water cooler that after, like all the heat sink tape comes with it and all that. Did something, so I have to go to task my games. And uh, yeah, just think on the right parts, it tells you. Bam. Laugh into the. Take some time to earn up some stuff and save some money to put away. Everybody's that way. Most of us live paycheck by ch paycheck, day by day, get through life. And always oh, saving for the next thing that uh, might wear out, such as your clothing, your TV, uh, next two weeks of food, your car insurance, new tires, new brakes, or to have that one holiday for your two year, every two years. Turn up the fans. Yes, when I hit the window key, that's what. Fans. Silent. Performance. GPU fan. Rather keep it continuously than going up and down. See if I'm dead in this one. Oh. Loading up, I have to change it. A little interesting. Go with the arms. <laughs> 